Hey everyone, Girl Maze Pixels here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets and Generations Part 4. So, you may be looking at the screen going, wow, it is really, really dark. Uh, yeah, for some reason, their street has like no street lights, and it is just a very dark neighborhood. So, one of you guys mentioned in the last part to go in and add street lights. Uh, in edit town and I think I will do that uh, hopefully by the next part if I remember fingers crossed anyways the reason why I am starting this part so late at night is uh, because I started hearing while I was waiting for them to you know sleep and get through the night um, a burglar a burglar is here I cannot see where he is because it is so dark um, but the little the little jingle is playing um, as you guys can probably hear. Right? Wait, where is he still here? Did he like leave? Oh my goodness, I literally just heard the burglar sound. Where <laughs> where did he go? Okay. Okay, cool. Um I like legit cannot see. Maybe, oh, maybe I should turn on these outdoor lights. Turn on this light. I literally heard the sound and everything. Now I just seem crazy. Now I just sound like a crazy person. Um, I'm gonna have Evelyn wake up. Oh, here they are. Courtney, Courtney lie. Burglar. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not crazy guys. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Let's call the police. Oh my goodness. And we don't have an alarm because they couldn't afford it. Wait, what? What though? I am so confused. <laughs> I feel like this part's already going to be so weird. What? Who's Glenn? Glenn, who are you? Um, um, this is the weirdest thing I've ever encountered in my entire life. Poor Evelyn over here. She actually got sick overnight, which totally sucks, but she is going to have to still work today. And we're going to get a photo. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is this? Why are they scared of Pookie? I mean, I guess. Pookie's just guarding the food. We have like some weirdo Glenn here. Glenn, who are you? This is so weird. Um, are the police still arriving? Are we still getting robbed? Unfortunately, it looks like the burglar was able to get away. We'll get him next time. Well... Um, okay. <laughs> Anyways, what? And who was Glenn? And like, why was he scared of Pookie? Pookie, you saved our lives. Oh my goodness. And we have little Gracie here who stinks. Uh, groom self girl. You clean up that mess you got going on. Um... I mean, Rylan, poor Rylan actually has to wake up in a few hours or so. Uh, but I will fast forward or cut until he's up and ready to go to work. Okay, so it is morning time for them now. And they're actually both up. Uh, Rylan's carpool will be here in an hour. Hopefully he'll be able to uh, eat and everything in time. Uh, but yeah, so the cats have just been chilling and hanging out all morning. <laughs> I still can't get over like what happened with like Pookie and the burglar. I have no clue what happened there. Uh, if you guys know, let me let me know down below in the comments. Tell me what happened, because I am so confused about it. But I mean, at least we didn't get robbed. Nothing got stolen. They really can't afford right now to have things being stolen. So, you know, I'm okay with it. I will take it. Uh, anyway, so she is making breakfast. Oh, they're fighting. Or no, they're playing. They're not fighting. <laughs> oh, they're playing. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he's waiting for breakfast. Hopefully breakfast will be done in time. Oh, and we need to replace the scratching post. Yep. 
Ugh. Okay. And then Evelyn does work today. Ugh, I don't think he's going to be able to eat. Darn it. Um, Ev Evelyn does work today, even though she is sick. Um, but I was thinking maybe after work, her and Ryland will go on a date. Uh, and maybe he'll propose. <clears throat> maybe. Uh, and then also maybe they'll be able to meet <laughs> some people or something. Oh, this is Evelyn's first time, like, really cooking. And she burnt it. I guess maybe it's good that Ryland didn't get to eat. So he doesn't have to eat burnt waffles. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna grab a plate. And of course, we're not gonna throw them away because she is frugal. So they will eat the burnt waffles uh, for a little while till they run out. <laughs> um, but I love that Pookie and Gracie are starting to get to know each other. I really do want them to have little babies in the future because uh, this is a pet's uh, and Generations LP. So I do want to show that aspect of pets and have little kittens and maybe we'll sell them or give them to some friends or something. Uh, but, you know, I want the pets to have generations as well. So it'll be like generations with the family and generations with the pets. I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like that'd be really cool to do and see through the different generations, the different cats and stuff that we get. Uh, but yeah, so she's going to get cleaned up before everyone arrives. Uh, what time does work start? Nine o'clock? Yeah. So we have a little bit of time. Uh, they did get like the toilet and everything repaired. Why can't I? Okay. I was like, why can I not click on the toilet? They did get that all repaired. Everything was like breaking last night. I don't know what was going on. And then now she's sick and I feel so bad, but I guess that's what happens when you work, you know, as a daycare provider is that, you know, kids are germy and <laughs> kids have a lot of germs. And so it kind of makes sense that she would get sick from that. Uh, but hopefully she'll get feeling better really soon. Uh, Pookie wants to learn how to hunt, and I'm all for that. So I think we're going to lock that in. Uh, and they just have, like, a bunch of random little wishes. Now, but I do want to get a cat condo. I just don't think we have the room for it right now. Uh, but hopefully soon we'll be able to get one. We're not going to buy a washer or a dryer. I'm having him still meet coworkers today. Um, even though it's not really helping his performance too much, it helps a little bit. Uh, but he's going to be meeting some people because we really, like I said, need friends. And his friends <laughs> need uh, makeovers. So maybe I'll be doing that off camera. Uh, but yeah, so she's in a decent mood. I mean, she is kind of tired, which I think is from, uh, you know, getting slightly burglarized. Kind of burglarized. Oh, but the kids are here. We got uh, Levi Keats here dropping off um, Jonas again. And then we have Sylvia here dropping off little hazel again oh i'm so excited and i'll probably only show part of the work day just because it does get a little repetitive with the kids you know there's only so much you can really do after a while uh so um i will show part of the day uh, and then we'll probably just jump until they're all done hazel is very hungry and let's put hazel in the high chair and we'll feed jonas on the floor but yay, I'm excited. And even though she is sick, I'm still having her work because they really do honestly need the money. <laughs> so just going to have to push through. kind of sucks. But they really, you know, need that money. And soon Evelyn will be getting pregnant and having babies herself. And that always, you know, takes away from her being able to work. So I think it's all good. Oh, I'm so excited to be playing this LP again. And the response that I got on the last part was amazing. You guys were all so super sweet. So I'm glad you guys are just as excited as I am because ugh, I'm all for it. I'm seriously all for it. Okay, so Jonas is done eating. I think we'll come over here and maybe attack him with the claw. Spend some time with him. I uh, will snuggle him. Uh, and then maybe he'll come play with some of the toys. And Hazel, ooh is terribly smelly, so we'll have to change her diaper when she is done eating. Aww. Aww. I seriously cannot wait for them to have their own little babies and toddlers running around. And we have to have five kids. You know, that's her lifetime wish, so maybe we'll get some multiples in there or something to speed that process up. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I think it'll be a lot of fun, though, once they start having their own babies. Uh, Jonas is smelly. Um, I think we'll try potty training Jonas. I uh, guess he hasn't had an accident yet, so I think it would work that we'd be able to potty train him. 
Uh, but yeah, poor Hazel. <laughs> she is not smelling too good. Oh, whoops. Oh, I did not mean to do that at all. Goodness. Uh, and I think she just wants to have fun now. Oh, where are you putting her? Please do not put her outside. I hate when my sims do that. They'll like go and put them in like the worst places. Okay. She's not going outside, so that's good. <laughs> and what's the cats doing? How are they doing? Pookie is sleeping. Uh, and Gracie is just chilling by herself. I seriously love having both of the cats now. And I think it's really cute that Gracie now has a little buddy to play with, with Pookie. Uh, I do really want to adopt a dog, though. And uh, Rylan still has the adopt-a-pet want. So I think when he gets home, maybe we might adopt. I will see if Mateo is still there on the adoption list. Oh, we need to answer that phone call. I don't know who would be calling us, but... We will answer it, you know, just in case. Ah, uh, he, he by himself, so we're going to have to clean him up. <laughs> She's like, sorry. Wait, who was calling her? Okay. Um, let's change his dirty diaper, though. Uh, poor Rylan is stressed, but buddy, I need you to meet all your coworkers. I'm so sorry. He gets stressed very easily, I feel like. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Um, but at least we were able to potty train Jonas a little bit. Uh, but I think today maybe we'll work on helping Hazel learn how to talk or something or to walk maybe. Okay, let's, I just want to change his diaper. Why will it not let me? There we go, I think. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so she's going to change his diaper and get him all cleaned up. Oh, met Tori Coats at work. Sounds good. Okay, what is your issue, Jonas? Okay, he wants to be having more fun. Maybe we'll toss him in the air and then put him down. And then Hazel over here is having a little bit of fun. Uh, but I think we should teach her how to... Or wait, maybe we can put Jonas... No, don't put Jonas down. Oh, darn it. I was like, maybe we can try putting Jonas in the walker. See how that goes. See if it works this time. Because last time I don't think it really worked as well. Okay, so she's gonna go put him in the walker. And then, do we need to, maybe he'll start walking in it, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna go teach Hazel how to talk and start working on that with her. Cause I think it, I'm pretty sure it helps boost, oh yeah, he's walking, perfect. Um, I'm pretty sure it boosts like your relationship with them and everything when they are learning, you know, the skills and whatnot. I think, I think. <laughs> Uh, and Rylan will be home super soon. He is so stressed out. He definitely deserves, you know, to have a little date night. Plus, tomorrow is leisure day, so he'll have the day off, uh, which is very exciting for both of them. <laughs> oh, oh, she's actually really close to learning how to talk. Oh, that's perfect. Maybe we'll get, like, a pay bonus or something if she learns how to talk. So I'm going to kind of fast forward that. And then little Jonas is just walking. Oh, goodness. My game is a little laggy. Sorry, guys. Uh, little Jonas is, like, walking all around. This is so cute. Oh, no. Ryland is actually sick now because he got it from uh, Evelyn. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. I really wanted them to go on a date, and, like, they're both sick now, and I feel really bad sending them out when they should be resting. Um, I think we'll have him, we'll have Rylan come home and kind of rest, watch some TV a bit, just relax and de-stress. Uh, he wants to go sing some karaoke. I think that'd be kind of fun for them to do. Uh, we'll have to lock that in. <laughs> She's talking about heartbreak. Let's teach Hazel about heartbreak. <laughs> okay, she's so close. Okay, Rylan made 119 simoleons today. And Hazel learned how to talk. Yay! And she has room for a snack. So you know what? We'll just uh, feed her on the floor, give her some food. Let's come over here. Poor Jonas has been staring at the trash for a little while. Uh, so let's come over here and pick up Jonas. Oh, but he's playing with the little toys on the walker. That's perfect. I love that. I love that so much. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to get him because he's, like, facing this way. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's in a great mood, though. So, I mean, that's good. Okay, Jonas, buddy, I need you to back it up. Oh, man. Now we're not going to be able to take care of him. Oh, is Ryland home? 
I'm going to have him come change into his everyday wear, and he's going to come watch some TV. And like I said, just kind of de-stress and relax. What's, what's his issue? Oh, she's in the way. Ooh. Okay. Jonas moved. Thank goodness. Let's come over here and pick up Jonas. <laughs> uh, where's he going? Why can he not? Here, go here. Get out of the rain. I'm confused. What is going on? Is he like glitched out? Okay, let me reset him. I don't know what's going on. Why is my game so weird today? Okay, he's reset. Go on inside, buddy. Okay, there we go. I don't know what that. I don't know what is going on in my game right now. <laughs> it is such a mess. Uh, she hasn't had lunch yet. Oh, she's so tired. Um, and I think maybe she'll serve some lunch. Let's do just some easy organic autumn salad. Oh, he wants to play with the blocks, but Hazel is playing with the blocks. Um, and yeah, Rylan is just de-stressing. Let's have him watch some sports. I don't know. I feel like he'd be into sports or something. <laughs> I was just going to make some lunch, though. A late lunch, a very late lunch. I like how he said, oh, I'm just going to skip through part of the day of, with the kids. And then here we are. It's like already 4 o'clock. It works, though. It kind of sucks that it's raining, though. It's no fun. But Rylan's watching some sports. <laughs> um, and I don't think, yeah, he's pretty decently close to um, getting a promotion. So hopefully, in the, mm, I'd say the next part, but he, actually, it'll be Leisure Day. Uh, so he probably won't get promoted until Friday, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I think them having a day off, even though, you know, they haven't been working that long, I think will be much needed, especially with them being sick. So their leisure day may not be as crazy, crazy, but hopefully they'll still have some fun. Um, how's Jonas doing? He just wants to have a little bit more fun. How's uh, Hazel? She's a little smelly. Um, let's just eat some food real quick. And actually we'll have Rylan come eat because he's pretty hungry too. And then we'll get back to taking care of the kids. We'll feed Jonas on the floor and Hazel uh, will come attack with the claw and toss her in the air. Wave our hands like we just don't care. I'm kidding. Oh my goodness. That was like so. <laughs> oh, Brittany, please stop. Um, but yeah, so they're going to eat real quick and then get back to taking care of the kids. And what time does her work day end? Seven. But I feel like the parents got here a little bit early last time. I could be wrong, but that's what I think had happened. Uh, oh, we want to adopt another pet. <laughs> I know I'm like basically adopting a pet in every part. Uh, but I really want to. And he still has that opportunity that we need to do before Monday. Um, anyways, I will have him call the pet adoption agency again. <laughs> uh, services, right? Adopt a pet from shelter. Let's just see what they have. You know, look at some dogs. Maybe a puppy. We'll have to see. Oh, Pookie is like all skittish and scared of the autumn salad. I mean, I guess. Oh, goodness. It is kind of a crazy house right now, if you think about it. We have, like, six Sims in here in this tiny little cramped shack, and it's all just a little bit of chaos going on right now. Okay. So, they ha still have mostly the same cats. Oh, Neely? Is that the name? Oh, so cute. We got Bodica. Elwood is a little kitten. Oh, so cute, but I kind of want to go for it. Oh, guys, they still got Mateo. I think Mateo is just so cute, and I see him being like Rylan's like dog. I don't know why. Oh, man. I want to see. Oh, and they got, was it Popo? Popo the dog. We got Brooks. Brooks looks like a crazy little dog. And he's an elder, though. Or she, or he. Yeah, I was right. We got Austin. Austin's cute too. I really want Mateo though. So I think we're going with Mateo just because last part I really wanted him. I'm excited he's still here. I think we're going to go with Mateo. I think we're going to adopt a dog. Um, you know, it's all good. And you know, I, I like the name Mateo. I think that's cute. We're going to keep it. We got Pookie, Gracie, and Mateo. Oh, so excited. Uh, anyway, so you can come back here and maybe watch some TV or give friendly an introduction to Edmund. 
Who's Edmund? Is it someone he met at work? No. Who's Edmund? Very confused. Um. Oh, she's so tired. I don't think they're gonna be going to be able to go on their date, unfortunately, which totally sucks. Oh, but I think maybe leisure day. You know, in the next part, the next day, I think that's what they're gonna do. Uh, is is do that. They're gonna go and. Oh, looks like the parent of Hazel Hurst will be late. Evelyn Richie will need to take care of this child until the parent shows up. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I think in the next part is when they'll go out. Hopefully they'll feel a little bit better and whatnot. Um, oh, we need to make sure Jonas gets his fun up real quick before his parents get here. I want him to be in a great mood. Oh, is his parent here? I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. I don't think so. But it doesn't, when I hover over him, it won't tell me what he needs anymore. That's kind of weird. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so next part, I think maybe they'll get engaged. We'll see how all that goes. Oh, can we just not pick him up anymore? Or attack with claw? What, what can we do? Are we stuck? This, I don't know. Okay, fine. Sounds good. Well, I guess we'll just go to the bathroom because she needs to go. I guess. Oh, wait, are people having issues getting in? They are. Why? Why is all of a sudden there's issues? I have not changed a single thing. I have no clue. I'll have to go and look at like what's causing this. No, 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 go pick up. <gasps> no, go here. Oh, darn it, we only made 100. Oh, oh, they just glitched out and left. Well then. Okay. Oh, here's Sylvia. She's a genie. She's flying in to get her baby. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Okay. Well, they'll they'll leave if they like need to glitch out or whatnot. Will Sylvia be able to get in? No. That's weird. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to look at that off camera because I'm just really not sure. Poor Evelyn is about to pass out. I she has to go to bed. Here's your new pet, Mateo. Yes. Oh, and let's look at Mateo. If he'd load. Almost there, buddy. Oh, there we go. Oh, he is so cute. I wish it wasn't raining. Oh, he is adorable. Oh, I'm going to cry. Okay. So he wants to sniff Gracie and Pookie. Probably wants to get to know them. Can the dog go on inside? I'll have to look at this. This is weird. I'm not sure. Um, but we got Mateo now. I'm super excited about that. We do have like a dog house and whatnot in the back. Uh, so he does have the stuff that he needs. Well, 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 if I could speak, we'll probably have to get um, another food bowl for him, of course, so they can have more food. Um, but let's have him come out here, Ryland, and he's going to let him sniff his hand and talk to him. He's going to fall in love with Mateo, but we are going to have to slow down on the pet adoption, adoption, <laughs> on the pet adoptions, just because like, mm -mm, like we don't need too many pets. Okay. Thank you for working a little overtime here. Here's 44 simoleons to make up for the extra time. Hazel and I really appreciate it. I am truly grateful. No problem. Um, oh wow. We're so close. Oh, but she doesn't work again until Monday. Well then, fun. Okay, anyways, I think I'm going to end this part here. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with the front door. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what could be causing the issue, definitely comment down below, let me know. It's been such a weird part, I feel like. We've had so many weird glitches going on. Um, oh, is he gonna go up? Is he gonna go inside? I don't know. Maybe it's these boxes or something or the mat. I don't know, I'll figure it out though. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this LP because I know I am and I will try to start getting more parts up more frequently of it because I'm just uh, having so much fun with it and I love this family. They're just a blast to play. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also if you're not already subscribed and would like to be, make sure to click that button down below and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys. Bye.